out soon. I welcome you all to this CPE meeting, virtual CPE meeting, and uh, please follow all the guidance and be healthy and safe. Thank you. Over to you, Swati. Thank you, Neeraj. Good morning, everyone. Ramadan Karim to all. Hope you all are doing well and keeping yourself safe. I take this opportunity to welcome our speaker of the day, Mr. Dhananjay Gokhale, a practicing healer and physiotherapist. Mr. Dhananjay is working as a catalyst since last 21 years in the field of PM leadership coaching. He has received Man of the Year 2012 award of ABI USA for his work in PM education. He has also received PMI 2013 Eric Janet PM Excellence Award honoring the outstanding contributions and demonstrated leadership advancing project management practices. He is founder and former president of award-winning PMI India chapter Pune. Mr. Dhananjay has crafted the PMO, started an innovative initiative Prakalp Taru, created learning interactions, author of eight books and many video series. He conducts certificate courses in applying and teaching Bhagavad Gita and Atharvashirsh. His international works include PM enabling services at NCS Singapore, Dubai Civil Aviation Dubai, Silica Funds Johannesburg, South Africa, NatWest Bank, Greece, and several other initiatives in Saudi Arabia, Chicago, Bangladesh, and Australia. Please welcome me in joining Mr. Tananjay Gokhale. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, good morning. Namaste. Salam alaikum. Anu, uh, John, Neeraj, Shafiq, Swati. Thank you so much for uh, accepting and giving me the opportunity to present few thoughts, few of the mistakes that I have done in my life. Based on that, some glimpses of wisdom. Uh, I also would like to mention about Rajiv, uh, who connected me to this particular chapter. Super. So, welcome to noiseless communication. It's a step towards noiseless communication. Once upon a time, moment I say once upon a time, independent of the age, people start paying attention to the something that will follow after this particular three, four magic words. Once upon a time, there was a king and his name was Chandrasen. He was brave was wise and he was caring. So very rare combination that we see. A brave person who is wise as well as caring. He was like that. The king's palace was one of the most beautiful architectural monument. Super. It was not big. It was neither small. It was just apt. So the researchers or the professionals from this particular industry, construction professionals, architectures, the architects, they used to visit this palace. Even tourists used to visit this palace. And invariably, each one of them used to appreciate the palace. And wonderfully, they used to appreciate king's functional vision, artistic vision as well. Uh, the front side of the palace was onto the east direction. So we call it as an east facing vastu or east facing monument. Uh, the palace was built near to river. So if one walks a couple of miles towards east, uh, leaving the main door of the palace behind, uh, and he walks a couple of miles towards east, they are seen a beautiful river, big river, a calm river, but full of water, full of water all through the year. On the other side of the uh, river, that is the other bank of the river, uh, there lived a sannyasi, monk, and he had his small hut. Uh, the king used to seek sannyasi's guidance. So at times, king used to go to visit sannyasi. So at times, sannyasi used to come to visit uh, king. So actually, the monk, the sannyasi was the uh, king's mentor. <laughs> so, uh, I took a pause uh, 
Did I forget this story? No. The pause was little unusual. If you really observe, if the pause is more than one second, it becomes little terrifying pause. And I stopped crossing two seconds. So obviously people looked at what happened. So the reason behind the pauses were two. One is that uh, seek your attention. And second is demonstrate the power of pause. It is a tremendous pause, power that a pause has. And second thing that I wanted to communicate is, I have not forgotten this story. We can continue with this story. No issues. There are lots of things happen in this particular story. But today, there is no time for telling this story. Actually, this is not the time to tell the story also because I have to maneuver you to somewhere else. But we will go through these stories. No issues. I have a basic question for all of you. Uh, did you hear the story or did you see the story? When I was narrating the story, did you hear it or did you see it? I know we are on webinar. So even if you speak loud, I may not be able to hear it. I will not be able to hear it. But I have a humble request. Interact as if we are sitting under one roof. That's the magic that's going to play in this virtual world. I'll have to collaboratively visualize that we are together. Probably this time is teaching us how to be together, even we are in the virtual world. So I am suggesting you, imagine that we are sitting under one conference hall and speak aloud. <laughs> so if you're sitting alone in front of your laptops and iPads and computers, uh, good. But even if your home members or fem, you know, the friends or the family members are watching you, let them watch. They, you can pull them also. Hey, here, come. Here is a story. Involve them. Engage them. So the entire discussion today is all about this. So my question, did you hear the story <laughs> or did you see the story? Hmm? Now with this, let me tell you what we're going to do today. Huh? Because the topic is a noiseless communication. And the word noise is connected to another word called sound. Noise is a special expression of a sound. Fundamentally, noise is a sound. A sound that is uncomfortable is generally known as noise. Sound that is unbearable, sound that disturbs me at times physically, emotionally, intellectually is known as noise. And my question started from the word called sight. So is noise connected to sight? or noise connected to sound. That's the deal. So we're going to see today is the process of interaction. So how do we interact fundamentally? Do we interact by sound? Do we interact by sight? What's exactly that plays a role? We would then evolve the model of communication. We're going to listen to fighter pilot, civil aviation pilot, and the cyber fraud technological expert for two to three minutes. I'll be sharing some clips from their interviews that I had conducted for my study. We're gonna see the advantages of noiseless communication to professional. We are all professionals. I'm speaking in the chapter of a chartered accountants. So definitely uh, chartered accountants are professional. As far as my knowledge go, it is defined as a professional also in the law. Uh, so we evolve the tips towards reducing the noise in communication. Why to reduce the noise? We're going to see that. And yes, last but not the least, there'll be small reinforcement quiz. We are all human beings. That's a basic assumption that I'm going out with. All of us are human beings. And human being needs motivation, a thrill. The quiz is a combination of motivation. So it will not take more than three, three and a half minutes. And later, if you have any question and answer, we can move forward. Now, when I was narrating the story, my idea was to exchange some information. I wanted to share my ideas. I wanted to share my thoughts and feelings. And I tried doing that. I was the sender. I was trying to tell you something. You are the receiver. I started once upon a time. There lived a king. His name was Chandrasena. Information, ideas, thoughts, and feelings. I was trying to encode it because I wanted to communicate. I, there is an urge of engagement. There is an urge of exchange information because we are human beings. Now, depending upon the personality types, the quantum of exchange may differ, but there is always a need 
for a person to exchange. Exchange happen within as well, huh? so it's not exchange only outside. Exchange within also. We speak with ourselves so many times, so much of a time. So I was trying to encode it, and then I narrated the story. I transmitted the message. Message was a story, and right now we are using a medium called Zoom, VI, virtual interaction. Moment you started hearing once upon a time. you started decoding it and you acknowledged also okay, did you hear that you in fact you might have given the acknowledgement to you to yourself to somebody else or to me myself also a basic action could have of the acknowledgement could have been you would have adjusted the sound level of your laptop so that itself is an acknowledgement that you had given through the mode of action i am not able to hear properly oh i am able to hear properly so you are got connected with the information ideas thoughts feelings not only that the biggest one is that you started creating your own encoding on this if we would not have been human being the entire thing would have got settled in this particular matter itself but now we started working on that and then later when i asked you ki did you see or did you hear did you hear or did you see you gave me the feedback most of you must have seen most of you said yeah yeah we were listening to but at the same time the sight we were visualizing it and this is the model of communication this is what happens let's not take it uh, lightly uh, of course don't take it seriously also seriousness is prohibited probably what is expected is sincerity so we can pay attention to this particular model sincerely this model is beautiful model right now is the purest form of communication because the impurity is not yet discussed now the impurity will be discussed moment i will ask you okay now we are 143 people in this particular conference right now all of us must have heard me telling a king and the palace and the river and the hut and the monk and everything now if i ask you okay look you must have heard palace in my opinion you must have seen the palace if you have seen the palace can you draw the palace now if you say no we we'll, we are not able to draw the palace okay fine i'll give you i'll make arrangement of 143 pick, you know the uh, uh, painters or the artists you narrate how did you see the palace and that person will draw it so within 10 15 minutes max we will get all 147 145 palaces drawn and then if i keep it on the uh, wall 100% sure right all the palaces will be exactly same each and every all of us all the drawings should be exactly same that's what my assumption because i told you the story at the same time in the same language with the same intonation because we are talking in the same manner and using a same equipment either zoom live or uh, youtube live but it was happening at the same time instance was same if the diagrams or if the drawings of the palace are same wow wow of course it will be boring down the line i'll tell you but if the palaces is drawn on 147 papers are same guaranteed there will be absence of miscommunication misunderstanding absolutely cool calm environment so the most important part of this particular model is since we are human being on the either side of the channel of the communication invariable presence is human human mind human brain information own beliefs values institutionalization lots of things there are filters or filters there are filters or filters and hence all the palaces the pictures of the palaces are bound to be different bound to be different i can guarantee this is the only thing that i can guarantee because in communication only one thing is guaranteed that is miscommunication if i want to give the guarantee of communication i'll say 100% miscommunication to some extent right so basically what we discussed so far right now let us quickly revisit right? we'll be revisiting it basically sender encodes i was trying to encode because i saw 
I was seeing the palace. I was seeing the king. I was seeing the monk. I was seeing the river. So sound is expression that comes after picture. And hence, noise is not in the sound. Noise is in the picture. Basically, I was encoding. I was trying to narrate. I started from the king and then landed on the palace and then landed on and, 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 and. So you were also decoding in parallel. And there was a noise. Noise is a difference between decode and encode. And that difference will get very, very demonstrated categorically when we see the pictures. 147 different palaces. Why? Because my encoding and your decoding didn't match. It is as simple as that. So this is the difference. Noise is the difference between decoding and encoding. Whether noise is good, bad, we're not going to discuss that. But noise creates a difference or the difference between noise and, uh, decoding and encoding is noise. And of course, as a speaker or as the people who are engaged in the communication, the basic expectation that we have is the other side. <laughs> expectation starts with the other side. So other side should understand something that I'm communicating. In a way, the noise in the communication should be zero. So that person should encode. That person should decode the way I'm trying to reciprocate. But there is a noise lot of places. We're going to see that. So basically, sender encodes, receiver decodes. Noise is the difference between decoding and encoding. And noise can be induced by anybody, anywhere. Sender, myself, I am seeing the palace. I am visualizing the palace. I myself am not able to communicate the palace 100%. So there is a hit of efficiency there itself. I am seeing palace. I am communicating the palace. I am seeing the palace. I am narrating the palace. There is a gap of my own visualization and my own narration. There itself noise is inculcated. So sender can create the noise. The receiver has its own ideas. He must have seen some palaces somewhere else. So he will try to map that palace with the palace in the story. So sender creates noise. Receiver creates noise. Encoding may create the noise. I, may, I might have used wrong words. I might have used my wrong intonation. There was a big palace. There was a small palace. Go on, you had it. Contents are not wrong, but the patch of the site and the tone uh, created it. So encoding might have gone wrong. Decoding might not have been sufficient enough to encode. Uh, message might be, so a lot of things are there. We're going to see that. And therefore, noise must be paid attention to. Noise is the most important part where one must focus to reduce to zero level. Wow, that will be the miracle. But at least to reduce to the understanding appetite. There is an appetite of understanding. It should not create an indigestion problems, right? And hence, the primary responsibility of the sender to ensure that the message is received most effective way, means least noisy way, lies with the sender. Who asked me to tell the story? I started telling the story. Now I am the, I'm the person who is responsible for this. So I need to take the I need to ensure that, hey, whatever you are seeing, see if others are also seeing. The best communication is the parity of the vision between two people. Whatever I am seeing, you are able to see the same thing. And that precisely is the deal. Now, uh, we want to watch one clip. I told you, uh, what I had interviewed a lot of people and interviewed on stage 12 people. This is a two minutes clip from a program that I used to run, Balute Dar. Let's see what pilot has to say. Listen to this. Uh, yeah. This is the check. If you are able to hear the bell, you will be able to hear the screen well. Due to the streaming speed, probably there could be lip in sync may not be there because sound streaming speed and the vision streaming speed sometimes differs. But pay attention to the communication. The communications with even air traffic controllers also. In India, when you give an example from Bombay to Delhi, fine, one thing is okay. But then when you fly across borders, uh, how the uh, language or the diction or accent, does it uh, come in any uh, as a problem sometimes? Yes, it can be a major problem, you know. And uh, the first time I uh, operated a flight into London, I, I thought, you know, 
I know English very well, but, uh, but uh, those controllers they would speak so fast, you know. They okay. speak so fast that uh, it's very easy to miss uh, what uh, they are saying, mm. and uh, they are very busy. And when you ask them to repeat something, they get very irritated, you know, yeah. because uh, they are handling so many aeroplanes. They they just don't want to. They don't want any disruption in their uh, control schedule. Okay. Uh, but of course. Uh, it's airline policy that before you uh, fly into a uh, for the first time you know before you go to a new destination huh. you always go with a instructor who has been there uh, okay. many times before okay so that that way uh, there was no problem really but mm. you do uh, it does take some getting used to and it's uh, it could be a problem in the many other parts especially in in thailand you know okay the first time i went to bangkok it was difficult to understand uh, what they are saying uh -huh. and uh, there of course uh, you had to ask them to uh, repeat it mm. and after all it's a question of safety you know yeah so you would, you just can't uh, uh, do something thinking this is what he meant uh, you uh -huh. know so even if it comes to irritating him you just stop and uh, tell him look uh, tell me again mm. uh, so this definitely happens and now they have tried to get over this problem by having a test in english okay a compulsory test in english without which you cannot undertake a international flight okay and even the controllers have to uh, do that okay do that test because uh, there there have been serious problems you know mm -hmm. an aircraft have descended or they have climbed or uh, when they were asked to go around they have landed you know so these kinds of things have taken oh, place okay. and it can get dangerous mm -hmm. uh, but there are a lot of uh, safety uh, measures which controllers take mm. so um, it, it doesn't lead to you know a, a disaster but it can definitely lead to a very unsafe situation <laughs> so now uh, he's wing commander sharma ji he was an air force pilot and then later he also served in uh, aviation in this uh, that is civil aviation so when i have interacted with him it was a two hours interview uh, this is something that attracted me look at that it's a question of safety safety it could be physical safety in during communication it could be intellectual safety it could be emotional safety and we need to pay attention to that so a pilot a professional atc fellow air traffic controllers fellow uh professional so every one of us is a profession some or the other profession that we are doing so my question is what does a client expect from a professional a basic question that i always ask and when i say professional my definition of a professional trust me i mean this is not in any other book but ever since that i got groomed into right from my childhood and later i got good bosses also they always told ki there is a difference in professional and a businessman both of them fundamentally do the same job it's a mindset and the attitude that makes a difference a professional in my opinion is a collaborative businessman chartered accountant is a professional artist we say is a professional singer a facilitator a professor is a professional so there are professional a pilot is a professional so it's a collaborative businessman so if i am a businessman and if i am doing it collaboratively absolutely i am a professional then the question comes in as a professional what are the expectations of a client client himself can be a businessman or a professional if client is also professional things are easy if the client is businessman then probably i will have to integrate the habit of collaboration in my client but what are the basic expectations of the client from a professional that's the that's the beginning now in the current era or otherwise also i as a client i expect an experience it's an experience of accessible help if i am reaching a professional i need an accessibility because i am going there for help i need clear projections not only for the external environment but also for me my business also or whatever area that i am seeking the help of clear projection because a professional is expected to have little higher altitude than a person who seeks professional help and moment my altitude is higher i can see much more much longer 
much larger. That's the basic expectation that I have. Based on that clear projection, that precisely is my help. Not only the clear projection, but I would also need a proactive updates. So if I'm going to chartered accountant, I would need proactive updates. If I'm going to, since I'm discussing this in the forum of chartered accountants fundamentally, don't you feel a client would accept, uh, expect these same things? Can I need an accessible help? Uh, I need a clear projection. I need proactive updates. Keep, tell me what's happening. Uh, you know my business. Probably if you need, I can tell you about my business. But I need that proactive guidance. I need that updates. And down the line, I would also need digitization support. Of course, if an IT professional, I would expect him to do it. And if it is non-IT professional, I can't expect digitization, digitization support in the IT, IT field from a singer. But I, he can guide me. Look, this is the era of digitization. So in our domain, in the business that you are doing, in the business that I'm doing, here are the opportunities of digitization. Today or tomorrow, it's going to come for sure. The domain may not change. Transaction may not change. The foundational, fundamental human expectations will never change. Trust me. We always say expectations are changed. Expectations are not changed. The aids of creating the experience that satisfies the expectations have been changing. And hence, digitization support would be necessary. Ultimately, what I need is a peace of mind. You ask this question to all the people, right from minus 5,000 years to probably plus 5,000 years also. Fundamentally, I need peace of mind. So a professional is a collaborative businessman who at the foundational level creates a peace of mind, of course, with the due domain knowledge, due diligence, attitude to help, clearing the projections, proactive updates. And here I must tell you, I must tell you, now that I'm in the chartered accountant background, my friend, guide, and also uh, chartered accountant, Mr. Mangesh Katadia, had soft to him. In fact, whenever I was preparing this particular, I wanted to express this. What does a client expect from a professional? I can see this. I got accessible help. I got clear projections. I do get proactive updates. I get digitization support. I get peace of mind also. There are instances where I at times sometimes I get frightened. Frightened not because he will shout never, he never. But hey, look, he's also professional. I am also professional. Like Air Pilot said, I might ask a couple of things two times, three times, but there is always a support. So what does a client expect? Now the question is, can this model help me as a client or as a professional or as a human being to reduce the noise in communication? Ultimately, it's a game of perceived experience. It's a set of experiences that we go through right from the birth till the death. So can I not increase the beauty of the perceived experience and communication actually consumes more than 90% of any experience. Either you communicate with self or we communicate with somebody else. But there is something that happens within and outside. Now let's talk about it. How can I make use of it? Where all noise are possible? Noise could be anywhere. My message itself could be too long or too short. That itself could be a mayor. So like air, air traffic controller said, no, roam around. But I didn't understand what he went to say. So it could be too long, it could be too short. The noise can be created in acknowledgement also. In a sense, I never received the notification. You wanted me to join the meeting, but I never received it. No, I sent it on WhatsApp. Hey, but I use WhatsApp very disciplined way. I use, I, I see WhatsApp only after 90 minutes. Each 90 minutes, I keep aside 15 minutes of WhatsApp. Oh, no. No, that's the reason I'm saying it's a sender's responsibility. Or I thought ACK stands for account check, right? My domain will have some different parlance. Your domain will have some different parlance. Each profession has its own vocabulary. And moment somebody invents the vocabulary, inevitably, there will be short forms. And moment there are short forms, there will be different perceptions, <laughs> right? So P and L, in our case, we say profit and loss. Somebody else, it could be uh, piping and lubricant. Quite possible. God knows where the noise can get induced and how it will get induced. But here are the places, prominent places, where miscommunication takes place. 
or it could be receiver's mentality uh, while listening to somebody yeah he always gives hopeless ideas if that is what is the canvas that i have as a professional or as a client or as a any any person who is interaction okay, this person hopeless idea so, so even before the recipe i added the toppings of my own prejudices my own hits on that person's or uh, medium or oh, there is a lot of noise you know the network is down there is that so probably it could be physical physical disruptions in the medium or the medium that this person has used may i may not carry that or like receiver has his own perceptions sender may also have some perception yaar she doesn't understand anyway let me tell her so if i carry this perception whatever i'll communicate will definitely have either latent or open component of this perception for sure no doubt about it now here are the places now obviously what we are saying noise in the communication is a waste of energy we always say we say profit leakage or we say revenue leakage or we say business leakage where the money is being leaked expenditure investment leakage we definitely pat the back for investment but there are expenditures necessary but if there is a leakage it's most dangerous because leakage, uh, leakage never contributes expenditure at least contributes definitely it contributes in transaction i get some consideration of an expenditure i pay money i get some service that service could be an asset altogether it could be depreciating it could be appreciating or it could be one time consumption like an ice cream cone but expenditure gives me something uh, either value equal to money maybe less than or more than but leakage it's not only waste it's hazardous down the line so noise in the communication is a leakage and hence we must pay attention to that higher the noise higher the damage higher the hazard it could be physical it could be emotional it could be intellectual also now how can we communicate how can we reduce this each area we will reduce it one thing is for sure definitely i have stopped it i have stopped it since long back i never say effective communication or communication can be improved no way one cannot improve the communication take it from me how can you increase the uh, silence is there a way to increase the silence no silence exists period how can you increase the cleanliness cleanliness is cleanliness right so if i have to reach the silence i will have to reduce the noise if i have to reach cleanliness i have to reduce uncleanliness if i have to reach understanding i have to reduce misunderstanding and hence if i have to reach the goal of the communication i must try to make it noise less earning revenue generating profit is one way but generating profit by reducing the leakage is another way both the things are possible so quantitative reduction in the noise in communication and qualitative reduction in noise in communication i'll have to pay attention to that but effective communication is an output so what is noiseless communication that we are discussing basically to make the things clean we remove the uncleanliness to make the communication clean we need to remove the noise so in this era otherwise also my wish is let there be noiseless communication throughout and therefore communication planning is extremely essential let's do that another 8 to 9 minutes and then we'll come to the conclusion here is an assignment <laughs> simple assignment now you need to uh, communicate here is a you can see that in i don't have to communicate i don't have to express it verbally a student says well you told us to draw what we see under the microscope absolutely right she has drawn perfect she sees table under microscope absolutely no mistake absolutely no mistake but there exists a noise because professor wanted something else did professor make the mistake no did uh, student make the mistake no but then why the noise took place they didn't do the mistake they were honest only thing is that they forgot to reduce the uncleanliness and hence communication was unclean so what are the ways probably communication 
can be made little more clean i would ask these questions hey yeah, look did the student acknowledge now we'll go reference way that's what my belief refer so see, refer the model i have written it on the right hand side acknowledge me did student acknowledge ki what i have heard is this or did professor demand the acknowledge ki tell me what did i tell you either restatement acknowledgement or received acknowledgement did you hear me and tell me what did you hear both are these are acknowledgement so did professor ask no did professor demand feedback tell me what you are saying so feedback can be at the end feedback can be at the beginning feedback can be intermittent so can i demand that no again we are not here to tell who is right and who is wrong we are here to clean our communication and cleaning the communication to the 100% is a euphoric goal kya mat did the professor think about the possible errors in the message while encoding when i am communicating draw something that you see under the microscope what could be the possible perceptions of the perceiver did the professor think about the medium of communication right now he is using verbal did the professor think about possible meanings of the message and did the professor try understanding the overall personality of the student how is she is she known for her tricks is she known for her dumbness is she known for her obedience is she known for her cleverity i need to know when i am communicating with someone now if you really look into there are six questions on this slide all of them have professor's expectations did professor do did professor do and yes there is one expectation from student also because it is sender's responsibility to ensure that noise is reduced i need to create a conducive environment so that receiver will also be contributed and will engage in reducing the noise trust me if i want to understand thoroughly don't worry about the message to begin with understand where i can eliminate the noise and message itself will be clean one more clip these are only two clips that i gonna see look at the cyber fraud investigator she is a techno commercial lawyer uh, she assist uh, cyber frauds she helps police a lot in fact the first cyber fraud manual uh, guidelines was drafted and she was extremely actively involved in drafting that because she actually uh, pleaded the police case uh, under suomoto uh, in high court so after that the guidelines came in listen to that and then we'll go to the countries with this i have a question to you uh, this was my favorite so all years more than all years what are the competencies that you have developed which you didn't have you joined this profession and you are in this profession for 8 18 years what are those competencies but when i got into this field i realized it was more about how i understand people they are saying something but they are meaning something else they are saying something but there are there are a lot of things they are not saying mm -hmm. and how i need to understand what they are not communicating or what or what they are not saying and i think the the most important was to separate emotion from what they were telling me <laughs> no i had to just look at the facts and separate the emotion out of it and not let them realize i'm doing it uh -huh. when i had to i when i listen to my clients i have to maintain a posture where that person feels comfortable mm -hmm. that person feels i'm sensitive enough to understand his emotions or her emotions uh, i'm all ears to uh, you know all the trauma that they have gone through though i know that is not going to help me in the case while listening to all that i'm looking at what the fact is what he's not telling me what the other side must be thinking or what are the the things that i need to counter uh, in the the from the opposite side and also communicate to him in uh, in uh, in a very professional manner that 
all the pain that you have gone through mm. i understand but that is not going to help you make your case stronger in a court of law so i mean um, uh, even on the lighter vein this is a competency that you tend to develop that you try to look at the facts you separate it out from the emotions mm. and uh, you try and understand uh, what the person is over the years you also know how to judge a person from what he is telling you and what he is not telling you mm-hmm. how much to believe and how much to discount uh so maybe on the negative side uh, you tend to lose faith in people and relationships so my daughter calls me the most cynical person on earth look at the awareness that these people have professionals collaborative businessman she thinks about the client understand the perception the expressions of emotions the outburst of the emotions that somebody when visit but at the same time she says very categorically ki it will be dangerous if i get carried away by the emotion so i am hearing the message i am understanding it and then probably i need to segregate it well so while decoding so i tried to communicate few things there are different ways to reduce the noise it is her way to reduce the noise ki don't mix emotions with the data don't mix data with the emotions keep two separate otherwise it will be the mess of the recipe uh, she also knows if i don't balance myself in the technique and the excellence there could be a chance of me toppling on one or the other side so beautiful call uh, a quick uh, information those who wish to go through these these are the uh, baluted as i call them as a professionals service providers uh, navy captain cinematographer railway engine driver himalayan expedition leader fighter pilot the chief of the medical uh, you know chief cmo we call it as of good hospital uh, cricket umpire cyber fraud investigator olympic athletes rehabilitation expert uh, in india we had interviewed police chief uh, and so many so it is available on this particular uh, you know uh, link uh, vimeo.com and on demand 13 gems uh, you can actually go there and see that the revenue generated is totally donated to the needy and promising student that much definitely i tell you because this is not the uh, profit call this is different line focus that i do so but there is a solid contribution that these people have done so all the interviews are available hardly 25 dollars for all of them and you can enjoy that watching now last part okay then what what are the antidotes once again the actions will have to be taken on the actions and the area of action i simply cannot take off taking the action on the outcome most of the time we make that this mistake i want effective communication so how can i take the actions on effective communication that's an outcome so let me take the action on the ingredients and the process of making the recipe process of making the dish so here is a possibility of the noise in the message okay then let me think simplicity of the message can i bring in more simplicity what is the length of the message what's the language of the message what's the time constraint that i have any what is the clarity that i can see at least from the message side let me not think to begin with for everything references mentioned am i making good references unwarranted references mention of the need and the form of the acknowledgement feedback possible impact of the message now you can take this particular slide no issues but whenever you want to share share it with the copyright message i have given my phone number also if somebody wants to understand it further absolutely no issues i can help each bullet is in area of performance area of improvement trust me like a batsman each stroke he plays for 1000 times practice it same way there is another area of noise we said acknowledgement so fine is acknowledgement necessary or is it push mechanism if it is expected why it is expected can i not communicate to this receiver hey, look you need to give me the acknowledgement because this is the reason behind it what is the mode format and frequency that i should ask any additional information necessary do i need to give any picture any additional document any additional formula any additional person so that the message will be easy to craft and decode and most importantly boss who is the receiver there who is the primary receiver any additional secondary receivers needed to conjunct to concur what are the personality characteristics of those people 
what is the educational background what's the social background what's the emotional status that these people generally are or are going through communication strengths their limitations of communication is feedback necessary do you expect feedback if say then definitely the sender has to communicate why the feedback is necessary and what is the way that i can demand the feedback and the last what are the strengths and the limitations of the medium right now i'm working on a project with one of the european university how the facilitation basic design need to be changed considering the era that is going to come the strength and the limitations of the current medium receivers familiarity with the medium availability of the medium so this is probably the take away but this take away will be appreciated and will be honestly worked upon only and only when we understand the hazardous impacts of the noise as a leakage i have faced a lot in my life each one of us must have faced it let's not take it seriously but pay attention to it sincerely lots of mistakes i might have done i might i have done it okay now a few innings still left few deliveries are still to be bowled let me change myself on one of the bullets there let me change myself on one of the bullets yeah that's a fantastic engagement contributory engagement rather than getting entangled into negative thoughts let me dedicate my whole life to all these bullets right so what did we saw today we saw fundamentally there is a process with interaction and moment there is an interaction there has its own idea can be expressed in the model and there is uh, a noise we saw the experience we heard the experiences of fighter pilot and cyber fraud technological expert also we saw how the use of this noiseless communication can be exploited by the professional because collaboration is a function of communication and noise is a distraction in the communication tip towards reducing the noise in communication we saw that we heard also a couple of people there now let's go for a small reinforcement only 3 minutes and then question and answer it's in india it is 53 past 11 so first question the question will be there on the screen for 10 seconds shorter questions an answer will be shown on the right hand side bottom corner just above my logo and the information communication can be improved true and false i will be giving the answer immediately so you can also give the answer correct option is b it's false the noise needs to be reduced communication cannot be improved it's get it gets improved so it's a narrative form question 2 the key part of the communication or the key part in the communication sender receiver model that makes it essential to plan for the communication is alpha sender beta noise charlie uh, beta and message charlie noise delta medium is a obvious answer now right the right answer is charlie noise the noise needs to be reduced third question the primary responsibility of noiseless communication lies with listener receiver sender messenger correct option is charlie sender any communication is essentially initiated by the sender right question 4 there will be four more question that's all which of the following parameters would you would appear in the place of the question mark in the adjacent diagram there is a question mark there is it receiver encode sender decode <laughs> the right option is beta encode right the transaction the construction of my vision to the voice that is encoding which is the of the options would appear in the place of question mark here now it is easy is it receiver encoding sender or decode it's t code as to noise in the communication is essential difference between 
encoding decoding sender receiver the language of the message or the medium used what is the difference between correct option is alpha encoding and decoding if it is same then there would be not be any misunderstanding so that is encoding and decoding yes and what is the definition of a professional as expressed by me in this presentation it is not defined defined corollary or connotation or the vocabulary this is what i have feel so is it a professional does it mean cooperative boss or contributor bureaucrat or collaborative businessman or controller businessman professional means collaborative businessman it is intra and inter collaboration a professional must be peace must be at peace of mind then only he will be able to transfer peace of mind to his clients that makes the businessman a professional so i am sure you must have got at 7 by 7 for sure if not there is a fun 5 by 7 6 by 7 good the last what could be the important steps here onwards develop the communication strategy it communication goal communication route communication channels consider the power and interests of the sender receiver that is the stakeholders involved use the personality preferences to make the communication more happily receivable execute the communication plan that means there has to be the plan monitor the communication for its proximity if you monitor other things why can't we monitor communication its proximity to goals decided robustly refine and adapt the changes because it will happen how to it can be covered in the next sessions if if you have like this then we can go forward like this so here i would like to say thanks to all of you thanks to organizers thanks to all the audiences here each one of us each one of us right uh thank you so much uh, rajiv nivedita everybody uh, who are there all the panelists here thank you so much right niraj ji shafiq anu john swati thank you so much this is something that i had to communicate thank you so much dhananjay sir <laughs> for your valuable insights we have a few questions on the screen for you from our members uh, so uh, should i stop sharing my screen uh, that's okay. fine we can oh. see it got anyway. it got it got it got it got it, got it, got it. so our first question is from deepa radhakrishnan she asked will the noise be reduced if we opt for written communication ah, what a wonderful case will be noise will noise be reduced if we opt for the written communication if the other side doesn't have good eyesight i'm just giving one example if the other side is not carrying his regular spect then what i am giving little exaggerated it so there is no thumb rule for being right and wrong in communication it has to be aptly chosen tools and techniques so if written communication creates the satisfaction trust confidence in self and the other people then yes probably we can opt for written communication but if it is not if the other side is incapable of if i am incapable of drafting good and if the words that i have drafted may have different corollaries and connotations it might lead to similar noises so uh, so ear marking tagging the method of communication as more effective is dangerous whatever is needed that time is needed um we have another question from uh, mohammad ibal he says your video presented is not lip matching was it part of the exercise what difference it would have made if we had just listened to the audio wow what an observation ibal so now this is the demonstration of the media based noise actually the technique based noise like i said that time the transformation of audio waves and the transformation of video waves they don't match the speed and bandwidth requirements so lip sync no was not matching wasn't the actual part of uh, exercise but with your permission ikbal uh, whenever i'll make this presentation again uh, i would use this as in flight check okay, what is the noise that you saw 
the in sync or not in sync lip movements thank you so much ikbal um we have another question from deepa she is asking is it possible to reduce noise during the communication or should that be planned before initiating the communication wow fantastic uh, it has to be done by both so do i need to plan for the flight to begin with absolutely yes for the civil aviation you will not be allowed to take off further i mean you will not be allowed to push back forget about take off but do i need to make the adjustment when i when i at 37000 altitude absolutely plan is the thing which executors will not be able to match 100% that's a foundational understanding of a professional so the controlling and course correction is always necessary that's where i need to have alternatives that i can plan in plan so more wider plan more what if analysis in communication can reduce the time necessary for course correction during the communication but it cannot be planned that will go exactly as it is 100% so it has to be there yeah uh next question is from c basant he is asking invisible noise or visible noise which cannot be controlled now there is itself is a noise uh, in understanding the parlance ki what is your understanding of invisible noise i don't i didn't get the real meaning of invisible noise and visible noise but let me uh, assume my understanding on that ki visible noise somewhere you can actually see hear the root cause as well as the noise and invisible noise probably that i cannot see for example emotion or past experiences of the person to whom i am speaking because of that this person is not in the receiving mode uh, probably that could be the invisible noise both of them are controllable to some extent both of them that's where the sender's uh, tacts and deaf and the skills lie yeah. um another question is doesn't considering too many nuances before communicating take the spontaneity and fun and ease in communication absolutely it does provided the audience takes it so if you have seen past two decades even past decade the humor is become most costly and actually dangerous entertainment you write something uh, humorous on the social media see the jumpers on the social media so if the environment within which appreciates the open communication creates the conducive environment emotionally and intellectually absolutely that's the place where i can freak out when we say boss maza aa raha freaking out freaking out means i really do not need any plan so there are incidences where i really really need need not have any plan but i need to be alert so the humor crossing a space a crossing a line so might definitely be damaging so that much i can pay attention to but yes what you are saying is to an extent is becoming little uh, worry of this particular era i have to write ki please don't take it personally so people have actually lost the receptiveness of the humor people take it like this so better to be aware about who is the audience another question is from who who she asks do you think the silence is also a mode of communication absolutely super pauses are always necessary in communication or even silence but if you are using if we are using a silence as melodramatically emotional blackmailing tool then of course it is a disastrous call so if i am using silence as a weapon for hostility then it's destruction but if i am using silence for grasping silence for creating the conducive environment absolutely silence is a tool um next question is from ravin he ask how to reduce noise when dealing with kids especially how to bridge the gap between children's expectation and parents expectations children really do not have any expectations it is the superfluous forced expectations of the parents trust me trust me if you wish we can discuss on that topic also later sometime children have their own moves and we want them to not to move in the direction and with the speed that that they are moving and then it starts a game of expectations war of uh, emotional blackmailing uh, father versus mother and it all starts that particular nonsense nuance 
uh, how to reduce the noise i need to go to the level of the receiver first of all uh, avoid giving the instructions that i mean don't take it on the face value this the time is short we can take this discussion in depth later also but uh, children are the most honest receiver a bureaucrat sitting in front of me a so called adult person sitting in front of me is a most damaging receiver because he can pretend that he is listening to but children never pretend they are outrightly uh, blatant they, uh, we don't want to listen to you that's the biggest feedback honest feedback so first of all i need to believe that whenever i am speaking with the children at least i am seeking an honest ear with this foundation i think at least 20 25% of the issues will be dropped you are not listening to me you are not speaking that somebody should listen to could be the case <laughs> um we have few more questions i think we will take a couple of more okay um how to resolve miscommunication after you know that you had missed clearing noise during communication ah it's an accepting the error uh, i'll send one video link to you we can send it to all the participants there it's beautifully answered by the cricket umpire when cricket umpire gives wrong decision that's the decision for that matter that's the action you cannot uh, undo control z is not applicable in cricket umpire nowadays it is but still uh, what to do he has said ki mr kulkarni vinit kulkarni he had given wrong decision for unis khan getting out lbw actually the ball was going outside the leg stump but then he said i accepted the error so one is that if i miss the noise and if that noise has damaged the goal of the communication i must communicate that or if i have missed the noise oh well, that's not the only thing that i have missed there could be possibility so communication is a journey communication is not a drop so fine i mean i have took a wrong turn there i'll come back there is a exit or there is a u turn some down the line probably it will take term some time so if i am perceiving enough uh, to allow additional time then i think uh, missed out miscommunication can be handled Next question is: Does the noise within the sender creates more noise in communication? Prolonged silence creates more noise, isn't it? Absolutely. Silence, anything like you know, blood pressure. The high blood pressure also creates a problem. Low blood pressure also creates a problem. So everything should be within the range. What happened? <laughs> 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 what happened now <laughs> not even 3 and a half seconds this is the deal so earlier i answered the the contribution of pause contribution of apt pause the pause should be pregnant it should be pregnant pause otherwise it is dangerous so yes of course and uh, the noise fundamentally is a function of the noise within within myself if i am not able to see what i am seeing if i am not able to transform what i am seeing into the voice or pictures or whatever it is so your question is <laughs> your opinion is absolutely true next question is how can objectivity and subjectivity of any concern of the sender matched best with that of the receiver restatement from the receiver super question ki subjectivity and objectivity objectivity clarification and validation there is a verification and validation perspectives ki i just told you that i need to pay you 5000 uh, which is an example huh? so i need to pay 5000 so 5000 right 5000 right i need to meet you at 930 930 am pm uh, 930 pm right 930 pm right india time uae time uh, india time india time 930 pm correct correct that's an objective clarification but subjectivity uh, i i'll take care of it don't worry you just come in and then we'll manage everything oh god and there's a subjection there subjective possibilities here one is that be making things more clear uh, and leave the places for unexpected things both the sides receivers as well as sender so it's that's the reason i said it's a client and or it's a sender receiver collaboration actually noise is inversely proportional to the expected and actual collaboration between sender and receiver 
we have last question for you it's um, does prejudices contributes to noise and what can be done to reduce these prejudices prejudice yeah that itself is a noise it doesn't contribute to the noise that itself is a noise and that contributes to additional areas of noise and the noise so prejudice prejudice means judgment given even before the court is approved the case prejud so where is the case have you heard have you seen have you tested so prejudice obviously the prejudice could be halo effect also prejudice is always not having negative opinions about somebody it could be halo effect also wow fantastic he can do anything great no so that is prejudice absolutely it will come because prejudice creates the expectations unmatching expectations in the communication so of, of course prejudice and how to reduce it uh, while listening my trick now last point whenever i am listening to somebody i make a note i always have pen and paper with me always so make a note so my mind the monkey gets focused into writing otherwise aise kyun bol raha hai why is he saying like this why did he give this stress on just make a note so when i make a note my analytical ability which sometimes skills reduces because my focus is on collective i am just making the notes so this is one thumb rule that i can give you whenever you are listening to somebody start making the notes as if you are about to give the summary that works thank you so much dharanjay sir for such a great and interactive session can i can Have i take a question yeah yeah yes meera ji with your permission ah swati yeah yeah definitely <laughs> granted hey look at that this is objective confirmation <laughs> uh, dsr one question i mean normally we see that uh, if if someone who is not good in english and english is the medium of communication in an organization uh, somehow he is able to communicate and he his communication is effective in terms of uh, by the recipient to understand what he wants but still he always take a steps back in an organization to come forward to talk and he is seen as not a good communicator not a effective participant in all the communications and he lags behind in the ladder to step, step up so what what is uh, how, how do you think people like this should handle their situation super this situation can be handled in two ways one self and other mentor or a guide let us talk about self first of all now uh, let me understand ki if i go to sweden if i go to germany there are people i have worked with mercedes benz i have seen people uh, who used to take a lot of time when they used to craft the sentences and we used to understand ki what he is so basically if i don't know english agreed the english or a language is an ingredient of the message but what about my conviction if i am convicted ki, okay this is something that i am this information is honest information i really want to contribute so can i build in the first conviction and then uh, i can think about the language so for the language probably i can take help of external tools external persons so and so forth now this conviction can be built by the boss itself i was extremely weak in english till my 10th standard i am vernacular student but my grandfather created that particular point no issues in fact you think in english your communication will be great so there was an external person who said look what matters is your decoding encoding your vision and his vision should match so probably try to communicate don't worry about what people are communicating so this is self my conviction about my clarity about whatever i am communicating then comes the language second if there is a boss who has understood that this person has solid potential but purely because lack of english or whatever language is not coming forth that person should always take his side okay i'll be there don't worry and the third if the team now now actually we are going so global so people have also started understanding ki fine i mean okay so the collaboration at the people level so these are the three ways first second most effective third will they take time thank you so much thank you thank you uh, c neeraj and c swati and uh, good morning everyone listen to silence it has so much to say
I have given a pause, as Mr. Gokul had done in the beginning, to get the attention of listeners. I hope I could communicate with less noise now. Let's see. I take this opportunity to propose a word of thanks on behalf of the ICA Abu Dhabi chapter. Thank you, Mr. Danajay Gokhale, from the bottom of my heart, for taking your valuable time for addressing your members and guests. Many years back, there was a discussion between CAs and MBAs, comparing between the CAs and MBAs. The main difference is MBA was leading in communication and presentation. But after that, I see a change the syllabus and now CAs has improved, but a long way to go. Sir, your speech was amazing and very informative. Mr. Gokhale emphasized the importance of noiseless communication so that the exact meaning can be communicated to the listener. We also need to separate the emotion during communication and should be able to understand the emotion of the other person. I wish that our news channel anchors should also attend this type of seminar so that they can reduce their noise during their news hour and we can listen to the proper news. So thank you once again for your time. Our chapter is participating iftar meals to workers on Thursday, 6th May, 2021. We request all members participation and support as usual. More details will be circulated soon. I also thank I say Abu Dhabi chapter committee members for the support for making this event successful. I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our sincere thanks to all our sponsors. I wish to express my gratitude to all the participants. I hope it was a great learning for us. And let's improve our communication with less noise. Before I conclude, we have two exciting prizes for the engaging attendees. I would like to announce two winners. The first winner is C.A. Ravin Kakar. Congratulations, sir. Super. The second winner is C.A. Deepa Radhakrishnan. Congratulations, C.A. Deepa. Thank you all. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Gokhale, once again. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Take care.